Good morning, good evening, welcome to the training vlog. Uh, today we have got a snatch session. Shout out to Lega Saskia. Please like uh, and subscribe, guys, because we have yet we have quite a lot of people who watch it, but they don't, don't subscribe. So if you enjoy this CrossFit content and like just general, hopefully enjoy me. Please press the subscribe button. Anyway, on to today's sessions. Welcome to the voiceover, you beautiful people. So start of the first session of the week. Uh, this is a snap comp focused. Um, so basically, we're a bit in uh, comp prep. Basically, we got a competition in like less than a month. Um, Southwest regional, so that'd be good fun. Uh, Doing it with one of my mates in the inter intermediate pairs. Uh, so this was three rounds, four time. Uh, so it's five snap power snatches, ten box jumps, and fifteen deadlifts, all at the fifty kg weight. And then you have to then rest two minutes, and then you go for a six minute. Um, time cap to build to a heavy max snatch and overhead squat um so we started off in with like 70 on the bar then went up to 80 and now we're rocking with 85 but i must say it does look very comfortable up there and uh, that was my old pb and then we actually got a new pb here it is as to 90 i mean we did take it for a walk but i do feel like i have nailed that um overhead squat coming up nice and usually the next bit was a build up for the straight handstand push up something which we're working on at the moment so it was four sets you're gonna do three reps you rest 10 seconds three reps rest 10 seconds three reps and then basically four sets of that and it was a very much a shoulder burner i found the first like three smash them out second three smash them out and then the third three would just be a little bit more tricky you'll probably see now i was like rah, rah. that's one and then this wasn't programmed but i wanted to see how i got on if i could still have my handstand walk so I chucked myself up there i wanted to go around the thumb tape that was on the floor this is a little 360 and then what i really wanted to do was then do like a 180 and walk backwards but it just wasn't to be today but hey that's part of the fun and then we went on to something which i'm starting to get a bit used to and i found it quite interesting so it's basically a development of like you know like the handstand walks um, just to help with building up that sort of strength of lifting your hands up, but it's a wall walk um, With like a platform as such so just trying to get as high as I can I think if I'm a creator that's a 20 plate and now two tens uh, two fives, sorry um, So we had to do this for four reps and three sets and then we went into some rowing intervals and now these rowing intervals I have to admit they did have me they did have me good we did five sets of one minute fast, two minute moderate, and then one minute recovery. So overall, it's 20 minutes off of work, and we had to do five sets, which is 20 minutes. And we actually got to 5,085 meters. And this is the moderate speed one, and then the next one is the fast speed. So I basically was trying to go for two minutes on the recovery, one minute uh 50 on the moderate and then one minute 45 on the fast and i was absolutely knackered this was a great way to and end the, the workout and also to uh get those rowing intervals in right i'm to rush in can't do much for intro but we got some back squats today and i forgot to book on for open gym so we're having to sprint in and hopefully they allow me to keep going Oh baby, you squat day, every day. So we started off with some kneeling, jump to bunk, bunk, <laughs> pump, box jumps. Um, one rep every 30 seconds for five minutes. And then we just did some back squats. So we had to do eight reps at 70% and then six reps for three sets. So 75%, 80% and 85%. And I think right now is, what's that on the bar? It's 150, so I think that's the 75%. And I have to admit, these fell heavy. My legs have been absolutely pounding. Um, so I'm looking forward to a bit of a deload week in a couple of weeks' time. But we keep pushing, we keep grinding. We just got, just coach knows best. And he's got me as far as I have now. So you got to listen to, to the coach. And then it was a superset of 10 reps of GHD back extensions into five reps good mornings and we had to do uh, five sets of these with a minute rest and then it was into an absolute beauty of a workout seriously this is a workout i would highly recommend to anyone so the workout is four time five thousand meters on the bike 
and every two minutes, not including zero, uh, so the start, you have to do 15 war balls. This was absolutely amazing. So this is like the last set of war balls. I think I was like so close. I was basically like, um, oh, sorry. I did 13 minutes, uh, 10. So it just shows how close I was to the two minutes. Um, but literally, I had to do like extra 100 meters. And I was absolutely gunning it on it for before. But I just couldn't get there. So I do a forfeit of the war balls. And as you would have been able to tell, they let us go in and do our sessions. So that was fantastic. I kept it short and sweet. Normally I do like um, my normal bits. And then I then, I basically have four sessions at the moment programmed. So I'm doing like the three session and then I'm doing the fourth session amongst the other three sessions. So I basically have three sessions a week. Four sessions to three sessions. Confusing, I know, but. So then it leaves me three on the Saturday if I want to do the competition class or if I want to go to the other gym and see my friends. So that's what I'm doing it for. And this weekend we've got a busy weekend with like birthday party. Um, so, so yeah, anyway. So as you see, that was a absolute sweaty session and I can't lie, it was bloody fantastic. Oh, snot on my face. Um, absolutely fantastic session. Felt good. The back squats were feeling heavy, I can't lie. Um, and yeah, that last bit where it was a 5K C2 with the, the wobbles. Wow, zeros. I need my food, and I need my protein shake, and I need a bath. Cardio day. Three pieces of cardio. <sighs> I'm not sure what's going on at the moment, but my, um, my chest bar has just gone absolutely shocking. I cannot lie, but this was a really good workout, and I really did enjoy it. So it was a 10 rounds for time. You had to do um, five chest bar pull-ups. And then you had to then do a 200 meter run. This is my legs running. Um, I didn't take the phone or the camera every time. So every time my headphones kept cutting out. In the end, I just gave up and just put them down. But yeah, you had to do 10 rounds, 200 meter runs, 500, 500. Imagine 500 um, butterfly pull-ups. That'd be absolutely horrible. Oh, chest would be absolutely horrible. Um, but yeah, it was, it was a really good workout. I'm just basically just trying to build up my chest to bar because that's a will, a real weakness. That's a good, uh, W mix up. It's a real weakness for me. Uh, but we'll get there. Um, so then we had to then go into this workout, which was a little bit of a, of a cheeky one. It's a ring muscle up practice. So 12 cows on the bike into six burpee to rings, which I, I couldn't do the burpee to rings just because I had to have the bar. Um, the mats there, so I did uh, to, to the bar, and it was uh, six baby to ring to to the bar, and then three ring muscle ups, and five sets of that with a two minute rest. And now this was another absolute beauty of a workout, which I would highly recommend to anyone. So three six minute arm wraps. The first arm wrap was five shuttle runs there and back, and then ten bar facing line facing burpees. Rest two minutes into a six minute arm wrap of eight toes to bar, 24 double unders, rest two minutes, and a six minute arm wrap of five devil presses and 10 box jumps. And I must say, the the first two were absolutely lovely. They were they were good, sweaty workouts, um, easy movements. But then the last one is just absolute vile, especially like oh, my grip was just basically gone. The five double presses with 22s in each hand, absolute vile. And then the box step ups for someone who's a shorter athlete like me. Um, this is a big, big step up. I mean, you'll see it in a second when I go up to the to the uh, to the box. Like how high I need to get my knee and my hip to get up. Uh, box step ups. I'm definitely not built for the smaller athletes, but hey, it doesn't matter. Everyone has to have it. It's part of the fun, part of the game. Weaknesses for me, straight to the session others. of the week. Sipping on our back coffee. I do find maybe caffeine isn't really giving me much kick anymore, but, you know, we still keep taking it because it's absolutely delicious. Um, so today, I think we've got basically just finishing off the bits we haven't done during the week. It's got to build up to a heavy clean and jerk. Um, so I want to be over 110 at least today. Um, and then uh, like a EMOM, like one of the sweet ones we did last week. 
That's what we're going to do. We're going to smash it out now. It is very warm in this car without the air cut on. And I'm going to go jump in the gym. So every one minute 30, we had to do a clean jerk. And I just wasn't feeling good today. Just wasn't there. 110 on the bar here. Felt absolutely easy. Um, 115. Clean absolutely fine. Got to here and I felt like I was going to die. Like I literally lost all the weight. Everything from my face. I think that's when... Oh, Today's not the day, so just one of those days. We only got to 110, but hey ho. So the next thing we had to do was uh, every minute on the minute for 16 minutes. First minute, 40 seconds, power snatch, touch and go into 10 bar facing burpees. And then the second one was match kill and jerk, touch and go at 50 kgs. Um, and then the fourth minute was, was a rest. So that rest was much needed because we are literally flying. I'm trying to go as fast as I can. Um, the clean jerks were roughly averaging about 12 clean jerks for the 40 seconds and then between 8 and 10 for the um, for the snatches. But yeah, fantastic workout. Please like, please subscribe. Guys, 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 guys. That was terrible. He's got the 110, but I knew from what, deep down I know I wanted more, to be honest. But yeah, the mod was good, though. The touch and go. Keen jerks and the burpees and the snatches that felt really good and sweaty, but the killing jerk just don't know. Really, just I think I'm just really tired, just like knackered. Do you know what I mean? So I think it's kind of just feeling a lot heavier than it should, but hey ho, it is just one of those, and then we just kind of keep going, it's gonna keep rocking, and it'll be all right. I'm just exhausted, so text coach should be like, you know. He's probably put my program for this week, maybe, maybe next week we have a bit of a deload week, see what he says, because I'm just feeling absolutely exhausted.